Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers. My name is Korea and I am a tarot reader and a psychic medium and astrologer. This will be a forecast reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising Capricorns for October 2020. So let's jump right on in and see what's happening with y'all. All right, so first you guys have the Eight of Swords. Um, so, okay, interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but you have a handshake in, uh, occurring in the, right here. Uh, but it looks like you guys this month are in your heads, in your minds. There's some deep things that's keeping you stuck, keeping you mentally, uh, stagnant. Um, there's something that you're not seeing as well. Cause you see, she has the blindfold on. There's some things that you really have to go within, uh, to see what's happening for you. And I feel like it's a pair of other people who was kind of, I feel like these people was kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of adding to you feeling like they're like you can't move nowhere like you can't go nowhere like making you feel uh stuck and stagnant let me see what else is happening it's hard to record and have an accurate interpretation of the cards i'm looking at the phone and trying to look at the cards too it's too much all right y'all you also have the two of pentacles here so yeah, you guys are in your head um, a lot. And just like Sagittarius, I just did their reading before you guys. It looks like you guys are really focused and thinking about your money and your finances and your homes and what you have and what you don't have. And a lot of what you're thinking about, you know, saying things like I'm broke or I don't got it like that. This is what's keeping you... Um, in the situation that you're in, um, you're trying to find, uh, more money. You're trying to find, you're trying to buy this, you're trying to buy that, but the way that you're thinking is preventing you from having the things that you desire, how you speak about yourself, how you think of in your thoughts, it creates your reality. So if you say you broke or I can't afford it, reality is going to show that to you. All right. So you all in your head, walking down the street, talking about, you know, I want to buy these new Uggs. Or I want to buy that house. Or I want to do this and I want to do that. But I ain't got the money. I'm broke. You telling the universe the energy that is two different things going on. So the universe is going to be just as confused as you are. Okay? You confused on why you don't got this and that. But you are contradicting yourself. You're wanting this. You're picturing in your mind, but you're also telling yourself these negative things that is preventing you from having the very things that uh, you desire. All right, so Capricorn next. You have the Elder of Swords. So I feel like somebody is going to be coming in who's a little bit more um, aware of, of how the mind works. How you can speak things into existence for yourself. Somebody's going to be coming in and helping you. This person could be religious or they could be a teacher or very, just very highly knowledgeable. Even though this says elder and this person looks um, a lot older than this th these people. Um, this could be a young person. This could be somebody younger than you. You know, that doesn't matter. But it's just telling you that this person is a wise soul and this person is coming in to... Um, teach you now they may not say things in the nicest of ways they might cut you straight uh, cut straight to the chase so you can really know where they're coming from and how they feeling uh, and how you should be thinking they really want to get on you because they see that you're not at a level of which you should be at um, in their opinion as far as love and romance, you have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yes. So, if you guys are single, somebody is coming back from the past. An ex. Um, somebody from a past life that you have not met in this life. But somebody is coming 
and um, it looks like it'll be a close connection. Yeah, a close connection. This person will be very protective of you. Um, they'll they'll care about how you feel, and I feel like you'll be really comfortable with this person. You won't have no problems expressing yourself. Um, with this person. It may even feel like this person is a gift from God. Um, this could be with some of the things that you are envisioning for yourself. Capricorn. As far as your oracle card of the month, you have view from above. Get the big picture. Alright, so some of you guys are just looking at the small details. You're limiting yourself. Trying to look at excuse me every little small detail when you should be looking at things from above look at the bigger the bigger picture of where you fit into um the world and your role in it and how you can make a difference on a larger scale okay so capricorn i hope this video made sense if it did give this video a thumbs up as it lets me know that this resonates with you comment below let me know what's on your mind i do respond and i'll talk to you soon